Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. In this video, I am going to show you on how to insert a background picture in your form anytime without using the developer version or the form design. Just to give you an idea guys, I will show you my sample. This is my menu. And sample projects. As you can see, there is a form background. Welcome to project menu. And if we go to the design view, as you can see guys, there is no picture. Even if we check the form property picture none so meaning to say there is no picture but if we go to the projects in user form this is the user form guys there is a background picture so how i made this so i will show you i have a form a single form this one background picture i controlled all the background picture in this one form so for example, this one projects, so it's a number two projects welcome page. If I delete this picture, okay, so and close, refresh, okay, the picture also deleted, so there's no picture. But if I put it back, so number two browse this one project, okay, automatically saved projects okay so there's already the picture so how to create the code if you are still interested please watch this video until the end and please subscribe if you have not yet subscribe <laughs> so let us start we'll try this one guys the dashboard because it's a plain white there's no picture so let's go to design view and then click this dashboard yes and then let us go to background we'll put here dashboard we will en enroll it so dashboard and then for the picture i will use this one yellow okay and then close so, but as you can see, guys, uh, it's not uh, it's not working because there's no code yet. So we have to put the code. So let's go to uh, click this property, form property, and then let's go to event, and then on load. So click these three dots, and then this code builder. Click OK. And before that, I have to open the table for this background picture. Okay, background picture, double click. So this one. So, me that picture, me means the current project, guys. So, equals the lookup. And then, uh, string or expression is the, we'll get this file. So, let's type file. And then comma to proceed the next. So domain a string. Domain means the name of the table or the name of the query or the source. So the name of the table is this one background picture. So let's type background picture. And then comma to proceed. The criteria will be this one. ID. And remember guys. Uh, number 19 the dashboard so let's type id equals okay and let's type 19 okay and then uh, to avoid some errors let's use the nz function okay this is to avoid some errors and then let us close close that also and then let's go to form this and then let's go to dashboard as you can see guys there is no yellow but there is a small yellow guys at the center so let's go back to the design view 
and then click this again the form property and then let us go to the format here the picture size mode let us create or let us make this to stretch so and then form and here we go guys this is it so what if we will change the form background let us try guys let's go to the form okay dashboard this one dashboard we'll change this to this one close dashboard yes okay so this is it guys let us uh, I will I don't like that one uh, I will change that to yellow okay so here we go guys that's it and by the way if you don't know how to um, how to create a file dialog box just like this one you can watch my video I have a video on that how to create a file dialog box I will put also the link below so I think this is the end of our tutorial for this um, topic and if you like this video guys please click like and if you have some questions just comment it down below that's all thank you and see you to my next video